everybody, welcome to uh, episode 7 of Little King Story. In the last episode, we uh, we conquered a new kingdom, huzzah! And in this episode, we're gonna go conquer another one, huzzah! So, uh, first things first, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of, uh, I'll say cleanup. <laughs> uh, one thing I've been unable to do, um, oh my god, what am I thinking? One thing I've been unable to do so far, because I didn't have the money, uh, is I have been unable to uh, open up those purses. Get rid of these guys. Uh, make sure I have the right squad with me. And uh, now I have enough money to buy myself a merchant. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going to go do that. <laughs> I'm going to get me a merchant, and I'm going to go build stuff. Uh, I'm going to need... Cut all this. Probably. <laughs> uh, get rid of you. Uh, I need... My squad of... All sorts of different things. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut until... I'm good with that. Oh, real quick, I should uh, probably check all this. <laughs> uh, now we can get a whole bunch of new quests. Uh, there's not really uh, too much that's worth uh, dealing with. But uh, we also got some uh, new uh, letters. What's with the quakes lady? Scary rage been talking about the end of the world. I haven't been able to sleep. Only eight hours at times. What? Oh, that's weird. I fell during one of the quakes the other day, and when I got up, I was an old man. I used to be so youthful, too. I guess the world really is coming to an end. Senior kid. Well, mate, you just gotta hop in the hot springs, and you'll be fine, buddy. Hey, King, aren't you coming, getting carried away with the whole poly marrying a bunch of princesses thing? Bernie was saying what sleaze you are. Oh, we're getting rumors. <laughs> About the polygamy. <laughs> Sleeve. Lame. I mean, I'm the king. I can have all the hoes I want. Speaking of hoes. Oh, actually. Let me. Uh, yeah, this is actually a Spoon Moonies quest. I should take that. Uh, believe and be saved. Ramen. Earth fix is gay. The king is at fault. No more wars. What? Someone is going to get executed. It's probably going to be Verde, because she's back-talking me. Oh, I should check to see if there's any more uh, other quests. Uh, power up. Yeah, more guard badges. Oh, yeah, that's going to help. <laughs> Grab them. Bigger armies, bigger fools. All right, where's this Verde person? What do you have to say for yourself? Good morning. Man, I'm so busy, but I'll be sure to record all of today's events. Okay, fine. Don't want to admit to your crimes. Whatever. It's not like there'll be a record of it because, you know, you erase those. Anyways. Yeah, I guess I could just uh, bring a bunch more guards. <laughs> more guards! With Calvin and Caden. Also, I think when somebody dies, you have to re-equip their weapons, and that's kind of annoying. <laughs> that's annoying. So, with sword, I got a whole bunch of them. I guess I haven't really been showing you some of my stuff. Look at all. Got stuff like the toy bow and these toy weapons. Toy weapons don't do anything. They look cool. Um, You can have the gauntlet. Extra health. Anyways, so yeah. No, come with me. God damn it. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, jumping around with uh, my merchant to show you some stuff I can find. Alright, so over by the merchant store. Let's put them in. Boom. Became a savvy merchant. That's right. I can now open the purses. He'll also help me find uh, hidden treasures and stuff. So yeah. 
think the first person is actually like right up here. They're kind of useless otherwise, and protecting them is very important because if they perma die, well, you're not getting another one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna cut around and get to the persons, but or maybe I should cut right here because I'm already at the first one. Whatever. Break it. Got treasure. So yeah, they uh, tend to pay their uh, way back pr uh, themselves pretty easily. So, yeah. All right, over to this one. Open her up. More treasure. I can't speed jump down here. Oh, that's convenient. Alright, and this one. Uh, this one. <laughs> there. Boom. So yeah, it's all just treasure in these. <laughs> but uh, now I'm going to go cut to the um, loot screen to show you how much money we get off of it. Alright, back on the loot screen. Let's see how much we got just from those treasures. 3000 apiece. Yep. He's already paid for himself. If we ever get any more uh, treasure, you know where to get it. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. Now for uh, the thing I actually want to build. Is if we go... Well, first things first. I think it's time. Defense formation. <laughs> Might as well. But what we want is to get these uh, veterans before we go fight uh, the next boss. These guys cheat, really cheese the next boss. It makes things so much easier. And then, uh, I don't know, more citizens? <laughs> I kind of want to save my money in case I need it for other crazy stuff later on. You know, it's like, really make, I could really make this place look nicer with all this cool stuff. Or I can just not bother. <laughs> But, uh, I also need that money to buy the soldier, so it's not like it's totally out. Uh, let's talk to Liam. I've been explaining a lot of these guys, uh, myself. But, honestly, I could probably, for the, uh, Horden soldiers, let's get an explanation. These are Horden veterans. They sometimes unleash devastating special attacks. They also can occasionally block enemy attacks. They fight bravely no matter what the odds may be. Compared to the grunts, they can fight much longer. But like the grunts, all they know is fighting and violence. That's all I have to say about them. So basically, they're better grunts. <laughs> That's basically all they have. But uh, they can also uh, sometimes negate damage to them, which, you know, makes them live longer. And they can also um, do special attacks. So very, very useful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to convert a lot of my soldiers into them. <laughs> First, I don't need my merchant. Who else? Katie. No. Shen. No, Akira. Oh, my God. Yes. And then uh, let me go over to the veterans, uh, barracks here real quick. So real quick, um, Alex and my merchant Saray fell in love. So one of my soldiers in the merchant fell in love. Nope, not you two. Whatever. I honestly thought that merchant was a dude, but I guess not. But uh, yeah, now we have a child. Huzzah! Also, we got Bo. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so over here where that thing was uh running around the log, we have this uh soldier co company, uh this veterans barracks. I'm gonna turn all my soldiers into this. They're kind of pricey, but they're kind of worth it. Oh, one soldier left. That's disappointing. That's real disappointing. Oh well, <laughs> we can have one weakling. So yeah, these guys are a lot more diesel than the other soldiers. Also, they're bluer. I like that. You also saw that now we have a kid unit, which means we can get those uh, blue trees now. 
I'm not gonna actually do that. Uh, because, well, uh, I already ran around getting all those purses, so <laughs> I'll save it for next episode. It's not like we need those art pieces right this moment, you know? Anyways. Boop. So, uh, now we're gonna go raid this guy. <laughs> Let's do it. Take him out. Easy enough. Quick and dirty. Just like we like it. So yeah, the soldiers do a little bit more damage. They take a little less damage. Not much more to say about them. Sometimes, uh... They'll slam down into the enemy. Wait, Lyrica died? My god. How, how much damage do those sunflowers do? Holy shit. Oh my god, they wrecked my party. Or maybe I just forgot to go to bed, unless they're not healed. I think that's what happened. I didn't heal. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, so this place is a lot of fighting. Which is why I wanted to bring, um... Bring the soldiers. Uh, as I was, uh trying to mention earlier uh the special attack I, I i'm trying to remember of these guys i think sometimes when they you send them they'll jump up and slam down on the enemies doing damage in like an area which is very good for crowds and you know uh very evil uh scarecrows oh did i bring my merchant along darn it i was just picking things oh well Wait for it. Should have brought an extra carpenter. I really should up my the amount of carpenters. Oh, but yeah, I should buy those mega carpenters at some point. <laughs> that would be smart. <laughs> That'll make these situations go a lot quicker. That way I'm not just watching this. The mega carpenter is similar to the Baron Soldiers. They're just like a hard upgrade. A hard upgrade that we really could use. But, you know, I wanted the soldiers. That's a... After we kill all uh, this king, there'll be plenty of money for it in the future. But, yeah. Also, these guys are throwing Molotovs on us. Real fun. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, look, Oni. Yeah, we've seen so many of them. Oh, look how much quick work they've done to the Oni here. Just, just melted his health. I say as I send a bunch of non-soldiers to get melted by... Oh, well. Kill! And would you look at that? We're already here. <laughs> that was so much quicker. Strategy for Duvrock. Just beat up Duvrock to win. Break the beer cates on his feet to get to him and he can, break, and he can breathe fire and ice on you. Systems with jobs that can cling on to do where it can prevent him from blowing fire and ice on so Make good use of them. So I'll bring soldiers. <laughs> that's pretty much all you want to do is bring a bunch of soldiers. And that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, I don't know why I brought all these guys with me. I really should have just brought the soldiers. You can kind of circle their arena before you even get into fighting them. We don't have to actually go there yet. You can, like, come over here. And notice that we're on the other side of my kingdom. Look at that. <laughs> we can circle around here. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go cut and get a bunch of better guys. So, uh, yeah. See ya. Alright, guys. I'm back. As you can see, I brought people who can help me kill him. <laughs> That's what you want to bring. Death. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. And he's not here. Who knew? Oh, wait. Rose petals. Or Sakura petals. Not Rose. Roses was the other guy. <laughs> this guy's more of a music man.
I mean, I'm having a pretty decent amount of fun. I've seen some pretty magnificent beer bellies, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, so this guy is uh, the perpetually drunk king, Do Rock. Oh, uh, this is just a fight. <laughs> I know, amazing. Uh, as you can see, I brought one. Uh, oh, jeez. He breathes fire. <laughs> That's pretty much all you gotta know. I brought one farmer just so I can open this. If you guys are on fire, I'll call them back. It's Pikmin rules. Uh, as you can see, there's actually a few hot springs. So, you know, if you want an endurance test, you can do it. You can, you can play this game. But, yeah. First, we want to kill his little friends here. Makes things a little easier. Also, this music. So, there are two ways to fight him. There's the hard way and the easy way. The easy way is to bring soldiers, at which point they just jump up and kill him. Or, well, provided they don't get burned. The other way is... Oh my god. The other way is uh, if you bring uh, others, uh, either a lot of soldiers or a few of other citizens, you can uh, break the... Uh, um, what am I trying to think? You can break the boxes underneath him. Oh my god, words. To try to, uh, coax him down. That's the lame way to do it, though. Because there are actually enemies inside the boxes. And the enemies can be kind of annoying. If you have Baton soldiers, you can, uh, pretty easily take him down. Because they don't suffer very much damage. Or, well... Much damage. <laughs> and they have a lot of health. <laughs> and they do damage. So yeah. Just, just hit him. <laughs> and if you want, you can bring other guys to try to break the boxes. I think since the boxes are made out of wood, lumberjacks actually do very good uh, shot on that. Oh my god, everything's on fire. Break it. But yeah, he's already... Oh my god, they're all break out. If you guys get frozen like this, uh, you gotta break them out. <laughs> I think they'll break themselves out after a little while, but... Yeah. Just hit them. Or maybe they don't break themselves out. They seem to be having trouble. But yeah, he'll keep summoning more Oni and stuff. That makes it a little chaos, but you know. It's just not Little King story. No, no, don't go in there, you little shit. We're in the middle of a fight. Save your citizens first. I mean, save yourself, obviously, but your citizens needed it. Oh, well. But yeah, just be careful. Don't uh, just keep blindly rushing him like I keep doing. <laughs> Have a little bit of... Careful. Oh, no, Alex, he just got married. <laughs> He's nearly well. He's got wife and kids. He's the only one with wife and kids. <laughs> Honestly, I almost suggest not bringing a full squad. Because as you can see, the full squad can't get up on top of him. Which leaves him a little vulnerable. But, you know. <laughs> you. Oh, God. Everybody's dying. Break this. Uh, okay. 
Yo, I wonder if that... It doesn't seem to be giving me a hot spring. I wonder if that thing's, uh, like, a healing vortex of health. Which means I've probably been wasting it. <laughs> yeah, put people through it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that helped. <laughs> I seem to be wasting my time with that. <laughs> As you can see, they're trying to block him. God, I gotta watch myself. Or, well, more of my enemies. But, you know, myself, too. I call them. Make sure he's not about to breathe fire all up in my case. Call him back. He doesn't seem to breathe fire as if I'm far enough away from him. But, yeah. Kill him. Call him back. I think the guy that I was watching told me that if I just like quick jab him, he won't ever actually attack. But I don't know the timing on that. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to fight this normally. Every time he breathes fire, I just dodge away. Yes, keep away. And then attack. And every time it looks like he's about to attack again, Call myself back. Wait till he's done. Kill. Oh, there you just saw the big attack of the, uh, of the, uh, what's the word I'm looking at? Of oh, the Viron Knights. You saw them, uh, one of them leap up and slam down. They do that sometimes. Oh my god. Stop dying. As you can see, we got the Oni men here. They're dangerous. As long as we can stay away from them. Or at least drag them over here. Kite. <laughs> you know, when in doubt, just kite them. Yes, I know I'm dying way too much. <laughs> um, I did buy some... Uh, <laughs> I did buy, um... Uh, some new housing just so I, oh my god oh that was a big hit I thought he only did that in a circle I should have been paying more attention I was catching my breath oh my god I'm dying too much oh Lyrica's dead again <laughs> but Lyrica's always dead I right, just kind of hit him avoid the Oni man hit him there. That'll help. Alright, let's see if we can try to finish this guy off. Oh, he's just vomiting. Get him! <laughs> when he's vomiting, just hit him. <laughs> I remember that. Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, he's not as tough as, uh, um, Shishkababu. <laughs> you just gotta watch him. <laughs> Unlike what I was doing. Yeah, that was, uh, that was Shish Kababu. <laughs> Not much more to say about him. <laughs> Just kill him. And you'll win. <laughs> no, no fancy tricks to him. Yeah, as you can see, he dropped a bunch of loot. Grab him. The kingdom of the Jolly Lao belongs to me. Huzzah. That's good. And look, we got a new, uh, wife, I guess. Hopefully this one's not some divorcee that's still creepy. <laughs> Let me tell you. I haven't brought it up, but the divorcee bit, that's really creepy. Mm. 
Oh, this one's all math. Oh, well, you know what? She actually looks, uh, proper aged. And as you see, she's a bit of a chair box. And based on the king's dialogue, this is probably his daughter. <laughs> he, he was probably supposed to be watching her. But whatever. At least that puts her at proper age. <laughs> I think. It could no, she could not be. I, I, honestly, the possibility is, like, there. <laughs> Congratulations! But yeah, so we kill, defeated the drunk man, got his hidden gold, we got a bunch more loot, got a bunch of food because of it. Huzzah. Got an achievement out of it. And look, cutscene! Congratulations on conquering the kingdom of the Jolly and saving Princess Bouquet. Huzzah. Yes, I know. I'm amazing. The mysterious King Duvrak was truly a formidable fox. He wished for world peace, but he was nothing but trouble for the world with his drinking. Yeah, I know. Which is why we brought some war to this peaceful kingdom. Reminds me of the time Pancho and I tried to snake under a chair to eat. That, d d don't bring stuff like that up, old man. Let me tell you. Anyways, earthquake! Boop. And now the path is open. Phew, it finally stopped. Where was I? I forgot what I was talking about. That quake came from nowhere. Anyway, you were magnificent. Keep this up to unite the world. I will. Or I won't. I don't know. I'm truly amazed. You somehow got three wives in a surprisingly short amount of time. You've been doing magnificently, Evelyn. I will take this opportunity to expand the castle. I will start immediately. Oh yeah, bigger castle for us. And I can save. Huzzah. Uh, I'm out of save slots, but whatever. Continue game. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> I was like, continue. <laughs> and look, new music. Da, 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 da. More royalty-free music. And look at this castle. It's sick. That's an actual castle right there. Sunrise over the shining rays reflect off a now awe-inspiring castle. It's got a slide on the side. Cool breeze blows. Flakes flutter underneath the clear blue sky. Pacho moves without care. In the grand room of Grand Castle, King Awesome sits upon his majestic throne. With the three lads make him merry, he lives the life of an elite. Look how majestic he is. He may seem high and mighty, but beyond the borders of his realm exist other great kings. It is rumored that their kingdoms lie beyond the Skull Plain. Four kings remain. Vanquish those kings to achieve world domination. Four more. And I remember those next four are a lot tougher than the two we, fought before. we just fought. So, uh. Oh, hold on. King of Kings, let me invoke a suggestion. It happened two days prior. I had slept in three days and was preparing for the end. Yes, I dreamed it up myself. A state of the art ship! The flying machine. Ooh, fancy. The blueprint with the plans is right here. Please, oh, please. King of Kings.
Her? The other rivalry has been spreading panic among the citizens. The end of the world, peace, y'all. Astronomer, indeed. How rude of you. But yes, I am the astronomer, Skinny Ray. Fr frying machine? You're going to make fried chicken? What are you going to do with that machine? Go to the world of God. Fly beyond the sky with the flying machine to discover the cause of the earthquakes. The reason of the cause is in the outside of the world. Is in the outside of this universe. Huh? Ooh, we getting some existential stuff. <laughs> What's with this guy? The recent bizarre earthquakes are accompanied by the shaking of the stars in the sky. Is it just the ground that's shaking? Uh, really? It's the world and what's around it. If we don't like it by finding the cause of the quakes, the world will shake a quake even more than now. Hmm, sounds like we might get some Final Fantasy God slaying action towards the end here. Hmm. Eventually, the sun and the moon will both plummet by falling. The world will come to an end. Must take the flying machine to go outside the world and above the sky. We must solve the mystery of the cause of the shaking of the earth. World. <laughs> that sounds so dumb. There's no way the sun will fall. That sounds pretty moronic. Aren't earthquakes caused by some guy with a trident? That's tsunamis. <laughs> well, I could not decide for everyone on this planet. We will let the people decide. Line up, everyone. Wait, since when is this a democracy? I'm the fucking king. Build the flying machine before the world ends. Presenter, astronomer, skinny way. You ready? We'll start with the vote now. Those in favor? Oh, I'm totally in favor. Fly to the sky. Those opposed? Yeah, well, three to two. <laughs> I guess since this is not, since this isn't a monarchy, apparently, we do not do that. <laughs> do not. The people have decided they will not grow up. They, they ain't the people. If this is a real democracy, let's get the Alex in here. He's got family. He knows what's up. <laughs> this is much too much. Well, no one believe me. I believed you. I'm the most important person in the kingdom. <laughs> let's execute these three and build a flying machine, man. <laughs> but I'll still make it, even if I have to do it alone. Even if I'm all alone or the last one standing. You can't stop me. I mean, again, I could help you. Whatever. <laughs> The world is still trembling. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, that was that. Look at this sick castle. Uh, I think we got a festival going on, so let's go check that out before we explore the sick castle. I know, I know. You want to explore the sick castle, but we'll do that in a sec. After all, this episode's already pretty short, so exploring the castle might help. And uh, look. They're actually doing actual festival stuff and drinking. <laughs> That's what this festival is all about. And look, they got little cherry blossoms and stuff. Kind of neato. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. So, oh my god, I can't go straight to my throne. Oh, I can. Never mind. I stopped moving for a brief second, so I was like, oh, it's stopped. Oh, well. Oh, I can't. Yes, end it. I want to explore the sick castle. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. She's standing above me. Wake up. Oh, yeah. I got your letter. I should probably have talked to you about that. Oh, well. Good morning. Weather is nice today. Be sure to work up an appetite. Oh, that's nice. That was creepy. <laughs> but one thing for my new castle is that if I go out here, I can go straight for the slide. Oh, wait. Something's happened. Big thunk. Big thunk. Big thunk. Ah, oh, look, he's doing the thing. I 
I farted. This is the construction side of the flying machine. I'll still make it. You can't stop me by restraining me. Not going to help them leave me alone. I'll clear alone even if I have to. Could it be that you may be having a change of heart? Well, I mean, I was with you from the beginning, but whatever. Is it that you came not as king, but personally? I mean, I am personally the king. <laughs> to come to help or to offer a suggestion? Sure. King of kings, I can't thank you enough. Please take a look at these important documents. This is my magnificent blueprint. A cooling solution and a fuel tank. A media player and a communications device. Reinforced armor playing and a propeller. Don't forget a variety of cords. You will need to find these seven parts to complete the flying machine. You need to go forth around the world and find these parts by discovering them. You must be quick with haste as the shaking of the world will be worth it. Moon and sun, clouds and stars, crowds, crows and seagulls, constellations and toilet seats. You never know when something may fall from up in the sky. You must aim to complete the flying machine before the world ends. Hooray, O oh king of kings. So basically, this is kind of a long distance quest where we gotta find the uh, parts for this. We don't have to do this until the end of the game, but we do have to do this. <laughs> this is this is a necessary part of the game. But yeah, first we got a new treasure thing, exploring your stuff. Look, we can uh, throw our money around. Huzzah! God, this is a major upgrade out of the last one, but whatever. Here we have my bedroom in the back. Uh, let's get a different painting. Uh, oh my god, look at that painting. Wait, where's my... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm taking that. Oh yeah, that's a painting right there. <laughs> what other paintings do we have? We got the kings we just defeated. And our princesses. And the wonder spats. And some... Uh, uh, the art is now up now that we got the uh, um, now that we get in some art pieces uh, the art will appear uh, some concept art will appear in here but this isn't the art show pieces as you can see these are a little different but uh, yeah I think as we get the uh, art uh, filled out these will fill out themselves and uh, yeah so yeah that's our uh, state on these. As you can see on the back of our uh, throne, we got some drawings. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, let's see, down here, we have, I think this is Liam's room, but I'm not sure. There's some drinky drinks down here, which is not uh, kosher for Liam to be drinking. Over here, we have a ping pong table. We can play some table tennis. I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> but yeah, we got table tennis. If we go over here, we got Faraday's room. It's all books and stuff. And look, she's got the sand pit now. <laughs> That's right. You've been upgraded to sandpit person. And if we go over here, we got a kitchen. And kind of a church. It's actually not a church. But look, there's our piece in it. Holler source. Okay, it's a ramen bowl. It's a church. I thought it was a kitchen. But I can tell by the ramen, it's the church. If we go over here. We got a dungeon, finally. God, most important piece of the castle, and we haven't had it yet. And a new art piece. The Ak Akbar. Weird. Dungeon. So yeah. Neato. And then if we come up here. How's there? Uh, suggestion box. Herky jerky. There's been a lot of earthquakes. Yeah, the houses of a Pokemon made the way it's state and quakes. I sure hope so. From Shaky Break Your Heart. That's a good reference. <laughs> Why are the new flashes so behind the times? I need to know when that quake is going to happen before it happens. I need a warning. The system now is useless. Baldy McRumor. Super earthquakes. Foundation of all Pokemon is firmly stable. The quakes are naturally impossible. 
Oops, I got carried away. I started talking like a skinny ring. The stables do y'all it is. And then uh, we got Collector's Frenzy from Bouquet. And uh, we got a few extra stuff. Here's the secret. The super, you know, pay me. Hey, King, I've been working, so how about you pay me about a ton, a uh, bunch of bull. He wants to pay. Might as well do it. Salary statement. Hello, baby son, but I wish to be paid. You are the king, and I'm the minister hired by you. 200000 Cool. Easy. Get deadly red churn up. It's a guardian. Yep, we got more guardians, guys. And we got five-star guardians. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're going to have to deal with that. I love being in the kingdom. I have always have tummy hair. When I get them, I ask God down me. How about you? When the world shakes, does it mean your tummy hair is... I don't know. Probably. Oh my God, look at all this stuff. Holy smokes. Oh. Good God stuff. Piece of paper. It looks like a treasure, man. Anyone else? God, boo. Something happened. A piece of paper. More pieces of paper. Oh. Okay, that's going to require some stuff. Danger. The Typhoonie Bunch. Um... This stuff, I think, is, uh, for the, uh, um, it's for the ship, so we're gonna deal with those some other time. But, uh, oh my god, look at all this stuff. We'll read the rest later. But yeah, let's just, uh, grab these. Oh. Well, let's take care of these real quick. And, uh, actually go, uh, ask our princesses what their missions are. Hold on, you. You want pay? You want money? Take it. Money is the most important thing in this world, but I'll take what I can get. Yeah. And he gives me a turn up! Huzzah! Let's all go take those quests from the uh, other people real quick, too. I'm kind of padding to make sure this... Uh, I'll fully admit I'm padding a little bit to make sure this... Uh, Episodes of length, but whatever. Next episode, I'm probably going to be goofing around a lot, so, you know. Alright, what you got? What's your personal quest? Oh, King Yapoo, did you read my letter? I want you to gather wonderful food ideas from all over. We only fulfill my dream, yes. Thank you. Here's the gourmet book. Now run along and find that food. So, in order to fill this out, we just need to find food items. Which is... All the tre all the treasure that are different food items is basically what we gotta do to fill that up. And then you You have come, my king, just as predicted. The fact that the king has come equals consistent request of data collecting on UMAX. Is this for me to collect? Yep. Good feeling storage king plus thirty percent. Please record the following data. So we got the UMA book. This is the bestiary. Find the UMA of the world to complete the book. So her mission is to uh, complete the bestiary. Nice and easy. That's why you want to keep fighting all the enemies you find. Hold on. I think in order to check it, we go into the inventory. Yeah. Key items. In the key items, we can check all our books. Like the gourmet book. Which uh, already has all the stuff we found before. So, you know, don't worry too much about it. And as you can see, we're actually almost done with it. <laughs> there ain't too much to uh, getting this done. And we got the Wonder Spot book for Wonder Spot. But uh, more importantly, we got the UMA book. And uh, we get these neat little uh, pictures of the enemies. Look at them all. And you get a little uh, description. Uh, the mystery pie on it. You know, stuff like that. Take a look. I love these little... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking at? Uh, illustrations. My God, of all the enemies, really uh, makes uh, give, gives them a lot of purpose and eye, especially the ones that show the insides. Look at that. <laughs> I want to see what the insides of your enemies look like. All of the cow bones one is basically slicing up his body. Oh, this thing. Um, uh, I actually found this thing when I was off screen earlier. We'll uh, deal with those. When we deal with those. <laughs> but uh, yeah. We got all the enemies. The owl hag for some reason. We're getting the insides of her. Look. And uh, yeah. Oh look. We got the clockwork knight. Mini dragon. 
Uh, I'm gonna stop uh, padding out for time. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, sorry if it's a little short, but at the same time, I don't really care. Oh, well, actually, I forgot. You can uh, sit down here. You can actually get a uh, princess talk debate time. Let me introduce today's topic: the king's best points. Let's begin. Oh, she likes the uh, honesty. Yes, I've never lied. His long, thin sideburns. He, does he have sideburns? Oh, yeah, he does. Wait, Spaboody, you gotta say something, too. Oh, well. Your plans for Armageddon. Yeah, I guess he does have sideburns. I mean, they're not mustache side. They're not beard sideburns, so, you know, not, not quite manly enough, but, you know. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to call it there for now. We'll all get those Guardians and stuff done next episode. Read the rest of those letters. Finish what I was doing. Because, you know, this was dragging on. The padding was dragging on. Oh, look at all that stuff we got. Excuse me, my king. Oh, God. Someone's lording on the bridge. Hold on. I guess we're not ending yet. Stuff is happening. You look. It's the Alpaco River. Yes, it's definitely a river. Mama, this sucks. Come, Mary, don't say that. This is our first real family vacation. Mary, I'm sorry I don't have money. I'm sorry for being so worthless. The deer. It's the king of Alpaco. Excuse me, king. I was so sorry that I almost turned into a violent storm. We're the typhoony bunch. We just came to sightsee and blow things over. This kingdom sucks. Mary, that's rude. Now in front of the king. Sorry, our daughter like the weather. It's just so unstable. Dear, we need to get going, son. Soon. Anyways, we'll change course today. Next time, we'll send a storm warning. Don't worry, king. We'll be seeing each other again. Weird group of people. Looks like the Typhoonie Bunch with Father Jean, Mother Jane, and their unstable emo daughter Mary have moved near the kingdom. Beware of sunstorms. So yeah, watch out for that. Oh well. Anyways, we'll explain what that means next episode. Until then, bye.